hi welcome to my video you know that i'm not doing any editing yet so this is my little intro subscribe like hit the bell and thanks for coming we're gonna have fun at blessed baubles hi it's sherry with blessed baubles and i'm here with miss prissy with her pretty eyes with some earrings and with a new craft jar named joy and we are on our first bag of four bags from a 37 pound shop goodwill jewelry unboxing i'm glad you're here i hope that you will subscribe and hit the like button if you like the video and also hit the bell click on the bell so you'll be notified as soon as i post a video so thanks so much for coming so let's get started on this other half of our first bag so we were looking at these earrings that are art glass, I would suppose, and they look very sterling. So we were going to test those when we found the others. And I thought there was another pair, and there is. These are more clear, and they're just really cool. So we'll see if those are sterling when I find the other one of these. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, these are nice. So we have some lever back earrings that are shell and that feels like maybe some kind of natural bean and then we have a really pretty like abernine yellow and orange glass bead in the middle and then the top is the the shell bead so let me have a look and see if these magnet at all they do so we don't have to worry about checking for sterling but they're pretty I like that stone in the middle because it's in the middle I can't tell much if it's glass or not so let me ask Miss Prissy yes she told me they are glass so we have these very nice earrings with this natural bean I think it is and we'll do those for four dollars Oh, this is pretty. This looks like a vintage bracelet because of the fold over clasp. I mean, I'm not sure. I don't see a name yet, but it looks like I was saying on the last video, it looks very cookie Lee with all, it's so many different colors. Just gorgeous getting darker in here so the light is going to give me trouble isn't it all right let's see the lights are competing let me put this light in the back hope it doesn't fall all right so the light is whiter i think that's going to help so we've got purple <laughs> it did fall oh well it's a little bit mad at me but that's okay okay let's bring this light closer maybe that'll help because I want you to see close up how beautiful they are. We've got, I have ink on me, yellow and purple and more purple. And that's not missing, that's a clear. And just some really bright fuchsia in many different colors. It's gorgeous, and I like the texture right there. And it is going to be a struggle with the light right now. Hmm. Okay, we'll get it. We'll get it together. I have to keep tapping the phone so it'll focus. Anyway, it's on like an antiqued gold tone color with the fold over clasp. But before I button it up, let's get a measurement. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is... Okay, I always put this over like that so that if it was folded over... And it is seven inches, seven inch bracelet, lots of yummy colors to it, lots of rhinestones, and I'm going to say $10. Doesn't have a name, maybe if it was a cookie Lee it would have a name tag hanging, but that's that one. And we've got 
turquoise color glass bead bracelet. Oh wow, look at this. It's sort of like a Millefiori, but it may be painted on instead. Nonetheless, it's very pretty. And look at these glass beads and some more painted. That's very sweet. Let's check out the stretch on it. Oh, it's great. It's got a great stretch. And I'm sure these are glass. So we have a glass stretch bracelet with some beautiful painted beads on it. And I think this is like the featured bead that's like an ice cube. That's cool. This looks like a little bit of, maybe it's also glass. So yeah, we've got this for $4. Okay, what's next? Oh, this is lovely. What? I've never seen a bracelet clasp like this. Oh, it's the kind that you that you clip inside. That's really beautiful though. It's silver tone. I've got to get the lights better. Um sort of an elongated faux pearl. And this clasp is silver tone. Let's see if it says anything on it. No, but it's in super good shape. Not seeing anything there. I think I told you guys once about a necklace that I have that's pearls. And I knew they were real pearls. Oh, I think you hook this up in here. But, and I knew the clasp was sterling, but I couldn't find it marked anywhere. And I found it marked like up on the top here. It was really strange that it was marked there, but it was. Just so you know what to look for in your pearl necklaces. So, it's lovely. Not seeing any marks. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Measure it before I clasp it. That's what my brain was thinking. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is 8 inches. And probably if you took a little bit off after you clasp it. Oh, and it looks like you can clasp it at different... No, maybe not. I don't know if you can clasp it at different stations. I'm not even sure if I know how to clasp it here. Some of them you just stick the clasp in there. But this one is giving me trouble. All right, I'll figure it out. In the meantime, the lovely pearl bracelet with the clasp that Sherry needs to figure out. We will say $7. Oh, there it goes, see? I knew I'd do it. $7 on the vintage silver bracelet. Okay. What have we next? Looks like a choker necklace with some velvet. It's in great shape. Looks like it's never been worn, silver tone. And it's got some beautiful rhinestones on it. Looking to see if there are any missing. I like the silver ball bead in between and the sort of netting. Yeah, I don't see any missing. Looks fabulous, Rolo chain. Oh, it's got a name. And the name says, Guess. Wow, I think that's an oldie. I don't know that Guess has made any jewelry for a while, so maybe this is like a 1980s piece. It's in super shape. Whoever had it didn't wear it. So we have a choker style necklace. See, I should have measured it before I clasped it. That's a habit to just clasp it. It measures... 15 inches. Wait a minute, am I seeing an issue with the clasp? It's not going back. Okay, so just know if you get this necklace that when you clasp it, you just have to tell it to go back in its place because the spring is a little bit worn. Whoops, wait a minute. Maybe I have to take that back. Okay, so if I put this here, and then I push this back, 
then it will stay. So just be aware of that. And if you like this choker style necklace, we'll do that for four dollars. Oh, you gotta love the faux pearls. So this is a cutie, it's a stretch bracelet. I can't see actually selling it, but there's nothing wrong with the pearls. Why don't we make our first deposit in the Joy craft jar with these beautiful looking faux pearls? I think that's a great start. You know what, while we're at it, we had some really nice real crystal beads from the last jar. We'll put a couple of those in. And I have these chandelier type crystal beads that I took them off in different sections so I could put a few in each craft jar, but aren't they gorgeous? That would make something beautiful, some beautiful earrings or something. We'll put those in. What else? What else? What else do I save up for you guys? Oh, this gold tone chain. Nothing wrong with it. Just thought someone might be able to wear it or craft with it. We'll put that into the Joy craft jar. Ooh, and here's a treat. This piece of jade. It is, this is the necklace that's has the name Barry on it, and I couldn't find anything on the name. It's on a silver tone chain. It's a little bit tangled up, so I didn't want to mess with it, and I thought, let me give it to my peoples and put it in the craft jar. But it is jade, silver tone chain, and yeah, there you go. Next is this earring, and I thought the sequence would be fun to put in a craft jar. And there's a lot of little tiny, really itty bitty little beads there, so that might be fun. And what are you? Oh, that's a cutie. Must have only been one. So the beads are not showing up good on my camera. They're a teal color. And they're inside of, I don't know what that material is, maybe a light plastic, but maybe the beads would be fun to use. And this earring. I think there's a pair of these, but why wouldn't I have used these? This must be some reason I wouldn't have used these for my vintage stuff. I don't know, but it's cool. It's like a half a dandelion. But I thought these were gorgeous. These rhinestones on the end. And also the chain. It's got a different style chain. So those are going in. Wow, we're firing away at the craft jar today. And look at all those chains. And all those yummy rhinestones. I think these are prong set too. Let's see. Yes. Okay, so you see those little teeth that are sort of folded over the stones for those that are just learning about jewelry. That's what we mean by prong set. Now when something's prong set like my ring for instance, when the diamonds are prong set they are actually, um, what's that word I want to say? They, uh, they use the solder and they actually solder in the prongs with the gold, and they're very tightly held in there. But some of the vintage prongs are put in just by them bending over the ends. So the prongs on here are very soft, and they can just bend them over the edges of the stones and put them in very easily. So I just wanted to talk about the difference between truly prong set stones that may be set in gold or something of less value that would be prong set in a faster way. So that when you're out looking at jewelry and you look at the prongs next time, you might be able to tell something is uh, real or not. As those as one of the clues, let me put it that way. So this is kind of a cute earring. I'm not happy about the tassels, but I do like the beads. They look fun. I think the pink ones are acrylic. I 
and maybe those are too, but I just love them. So I thought those would be fun. And look at our pretty little angel. Isn't that sweet? And she's holding a bouquet. She's got some beautiful blue flowers. So maybe you don't want to take her apart. Maybe you just want to wear her and enjoy her. And then we've got these couple of gold tone chandelier type earrings. Could maybe do something with those. We are on a roll here. This is so pretty. I love these, but there's one stone missing at the bottom. So I thought I'd put these in the craft jar. But isn't that a pretty blue stone? And then the round one at the top. So this is a marquee cut. And then you have the round one at the top. So I thought that would be fun to put in there too. Oh, here's our other sequins earring. So there is a pair. So if you want to wear them for fun, you can. Or if you want to craft with them, you can do that too. And this earring has some cool beads on it or some wires, whatever you want to play around with. And, oh my gosh, I have a whole bag of these bracelets made of real stone. So we've got, some of them might still have a good stretch. Let's see. I don't want to get too off topic with the box I'm opening, but yeah, see, so these are soda light and a silver tone bead and I'm going to put that in the craft jar because the stretch is not that great but you have some real sodalite beads isn't that nice? I like to put nice things in there for you guys this is so pretty let's see this is my old system of tagging things with my twisty ties so these are stone as well but look how beautiful they are Turquoise color and yellows. and I can't remember if these are real pearls. Yes, these are real pearls. And it just needs a new stretch. So there's lots of pretty material there for sure. Those gorgeous beads. That one. And another one with some real pearls and some different stones in there. And look at this one. This, I think, is rose quartz. I'll have to check it again. Well, what do my notes say? It says rose quartz. Yes. And it's probably in this bag because it needs a new stretch. So there's a lot of rose quartz there. And a very pretty AB crystal bead. So that's a pretty good start on the joy jar, don't you think? Okay, let's get back to what's in the bag. All right, we've got a lovely pink seed bead necklace. And it's stuck to a super cute orange enamel earring. I like that. Okay, so seed bead. And then there's a strand of like smoky beads in there as well. But I love the bale. Isn't that gorgeous? And it has sort of a cat eye look to it. Oh, that's kind of a vintage back on it. That is so romantic and sweet. Oh, and we have a name. It is Premier Designs. That's the Premier Design tag. Looks sort of like a little crown kind of thing. So Premier Design necklace with a beautiful pendant, pink. Seed beads, a nice wide bale to slide on. Measures about, it's about 18 inches. And wow, that's a beauty. And I'll say $12 on that. It's so romantic. It's in great shape too. And next is, what are you? Ooh, another enamel earring. Actually, the second one to what we found on the last video. Hmm, what is this? It's, um, I can't tell if it's gold. It's like a brushed gold tone. Um, are you glass? 
or are you enamel? I mean acrylic. I think it's acrylic. That's cool. It's kind of a choker style necklace. It's very brushed gold tone though. So I think it may be indicating a bit of the 80s and kind of a nautical chain on it. Yellow color. It's in great shape. There, that's a nice look at it. So maybe sort of a citrine imitation. And I love the brush gold tone. It's really in great shape. Look at that. Lobster clasp, extension. You get a measurement. That's a nice necklace, sure. It is 16 inches. Nice big piece right there. So I would say $6 on the vintage style yellow necklace. Ooh, another, maybe this is also a Premier Designs. Yes, it is. I can see the tag right now. It had the same type of seed beads and the same look to it. Ooh, this is pretty too. It's a very smoky, almost purple color. It's um, a bit frosty. Yeah, it's kind of purplish, like a brown purple. Nice pendant. And the seed beads are a very light golden and then a root beer brown. And it ends on a silver tone chain with the lobster clasp that you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it way at the end so that it doesn't keep tangling on me. So that's another sweet romantic kind of piece with lovely silver tone metal. Oopsie. And that's 18 inches too. Premier Designs. So I will say $5 on this one. Really pretty. What are you? My baubles. My beautiful baubles. I love baubles. This is very lightweight. Looks very vintage to me. It's, um, the pearl, pearlescence is really pretty. And I just love these older beads, don't you? With the little, cute little end caps. It's, oh, it's that kind of clasp. All right. Oh, no, there's no clasp on the other side. Oh, no, our beautiful baubles. That's a nice vintage necklace. I wonder if the clasp might be in there and we can just reattach it. I'll try to hang out and wait for the clasp and see if it's in there. Yeah, let's do that. I'll put it back there. Oh, this feels very cold, like stone. Maybe it's some kind of a dyed stone. And it looks like maybe the letter E is on it. Let's see what this says. Oh, it does say something, but it's C A R. No, C A D Y N. And Charlene. Not sure. Something in Charlene. It's got a great crystal ball pendant on it. it does feel very cold. I'll have to ask Miss Prissy what she thinks of it, and I'll get you guys out of the fa my face here. Huh. All right, so it's testing as some kind of stone, but it does appear to be dyed. Let's have a look at the side of the beads and see if we can tell by the side of them. Maybe they're not dyed. Maybe I'm wrong. My camera doesn't know what to do with the light. Okay, let me come down further. I'm not seeing any variations in color. 
but I'm not sure what would test as that. Oh well, we have a beautiful bracelet that tests up in the jade area. It says that name on it. And maybe I should just put it aside and take a look at what the name means. Okay, I'll do that. So I'll put that aside for a little bit of investigation. I see a hang tag here. What's this one say? Gotta love a name. It makes things a lot easier when you know the name. Ooh, that's a pretty earring. Love that. It's it's acrylic. It's not glass, but it really looks glass. Ooh, here's the other one. So let's just go to these. Silver tone, filigree. Pretty pair of earrings. Don't they look like real glass? So they would be nice and lightweight. That looks like yummy ice. There's a little bit of wear on the the hoops, or they maybe need cleaned uh, wires, I'm sorry. So I'm going to say $4 on these, because a little bit of cleaning needs done, or polishing, or something. What are you? Has like a tree on one side. Oh, I had something like this before, but I don't think I could find it. It looks like it says a name, like Jen or something, right? And then there's a tree, or no, wait a minute. It's not a tree. That is a design. Hmm. Thinking of Kendra Scott, but it's not that. Looks like it says J I N. So I don't know. Don't know that maker. It is a little worn on the chain. The beads are very pretty. They are like, um, what kind of color? Like a very creamy coffee color? Like if you put a lot of cream in your coffee? That's what they look like to me. So I don't know the maker. It's quite long. There is a little bit of wear on that chain. But we have this for $4. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, I think we found one of these earlier. So cute. I love the pink and the blue. Where's our other one? Here it is. Excuse my arm. Yeah, those are nice. They're usually really, really thin, but these aren't as thin as what I've been getting lately. These are thicker. Not pretty. That'd look great with just the right thing. So I'll put some nice clean backs on them. They are gold tone on that area. And they're very blue and pink. And I'll say $4 on those. Okay, moving right along. We have a, a copper necklace. It's always fun to get copper pieces. Nice lobster clasp. Does look like it's true copper. And look at the heart pendant. Not sweet. Let's see, how can you see it the best? I hang it up? Yeah. So it's like a filigree, it's two-sided, and yes, I think we have a copper necklace. Let me make sure the clasp works. It's a little bit stiff, probably because it sat for a minute, but it's doing fine now, so no problem there. And let's measure it. Measure it fully extended so you know how long it does get. It is 18, 19 inches. So if you wore it right where it does clasp, which maybe you want to know that, huh? It's 17 inches and then with the extension, 19. So we have this copper necklace. Needs a little polishing, but if you love copper, which I'm starting to love copper jewelry, I'm gonna say 12 on that. Oh, we have this pretty baby enamel bracelet. I love the pink. It's like a it's like a purpley pink. I do love it, but it's seen better days. Doesn't have a stretch anymore. So I don't know if I'm gonna put that in the craft jar because I'm not sure. I don't want to take up too much of it. And I like to put stones and things in there. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to put it in. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. We'll do something. Some, I mean, somebody will do something with that. We'll do something. Yeah, I'll show up at your house and we'll do something with that. This is a nice vintage earring. Darn it, it's got some scritchy scratch on it. Aww. And it's signed, too. Signed in the back. So that's a bit of a bummer. Let me see who I lost. It is an e-pearl. It's an e-pearl. That's a good designer. Oh, that's a bummer. That is really a bummer. What should I do with the e-pearl? It's kind of scratched there, too. Not sure yet. Let me think about that one. Look at the doggies. Cute. Black and white doggies. It does say something on the back. It says, made in... Made in Britain. That's interesting. A little pin with two doggies says made in Britain. That's cool. Would someone want that? It does have a little bit of a longer pin. And it's on a C clasp. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is an older pin. Like, not terribly old, but does have the C-class. So, I don't know. I'm going to say $10 on the doggies. If you guys love it, you will let me know. Okay, let's get through some more of these. We found the other earring that is waiting for its mate. So I'll put that with that one. Maybe we'll do some testing on them all at once. Oh, this is pretty. Uh-oh. Bolty has jumped up on the table. Bolty, you have to get down. You gotta get down. Oh my gosh. Get down, kitty cat. Maybe I can show his face to you for a minute. All right, Bolty, can you look at the camera? <laughs> I don't think he can because it's so close. Okay, never mind. It's not gonna work out this time. Well, they said hi to you, Bolty, but you can't jump up there. <laughs> Sometimes you guys can see his little face and it's cute, but all right, we have this acrylic necklace. I'm not liking the the wear on the chain, so I think I'm gonna pass on this one or maybe put it in the craft jar because it has some beautiful beads, but the chain is a little bit worn. So yes, yeah, so that's going into our joy craft jar. What have we got here? Oh, this is a cute bracelet. Little teeny tiny little beads with, um, yeah, I guess that's just the way they're attached. That's so cute. Chain is in great shape. Gold tone chain, lobster clasp. Let's see. I wonder if it could be an anklet. Oh, and it is marked. Come on, phone. You can do it. You can do it. It says YSX and trademark. Not sure what that is, but let's measure it first. So cute. It's in great shape. It's eight and a half. And I don't know. I don't know who that maker is. Sure is beautiful, like it's never been worn. Okay, come on, Sherry. All right, I'll clasp it later, but we will say $4 on the bracelet. Looks like we have a pendant. That is pretty cool. It looks very 70s, doesn't it? It's pink. Uh, like a gold foil in the back, white background, and sort of like looks like chocolate syrup swirling across, and then like a milk glass on the back. It's a pretty pendant. I wonder if it's an earring or if it's a pendant for a necklace. Don't know, but we've got some seed bead earrings here. P 
pink and purple. They have the same kind of beads as that bracelet just did. Only they're like clear glass with hot pink inside. They're cool. I like on a brass wire. And we will say $4 on these. Cuties. Oh, that's a pretty one. It's a nice bracelet. Let's check this. Yes, the stretch is great. So this is like fabric wrapped around. And then look at the moon glow. Isn't that beautiful? And we've got this sort of square bead, another wrapped one, and a very copper color bead here. I don't know what my phone just did, but it did something. So this is a cute stretch bracelet. Great looking piece. I'd say $5 on that. Nice stretch to it. That would match really well with some of the other pieces. Okay, this feels like jade to me. Very cold, or it might be a venturine or chrysophrase. <laughs> How about it, guys? I'm saying all these stones. Let's see what Miss Prissy says. Always test a couple of the stones because you never know. It's kind of almost in the jade, and but it's more in amethyst quartz citrine. So I'd rather be safe and say, and now it's going right to Jade. Hmm. Now it's going straight to Jade again. Here, let's test this bigger bead and see what it says. Yeah, it's going to Jade also. Whoops. Didn't mean to have the wire in the way. Miss Prissy, you're supposed to tell me these things. Okay, I'm feeling confident that it's a jade bracelet now. Okay, you guys love the jade bracelets and the stretch is great. So I'm going to say $15 on that. Nice and coldy, coldy, cold. Oh, here's our other apple earring. So sweet. It's a green acrylic apple with these little leaves on there. It reminds me of the Napier stuff. I bought a, a jewelry lot on eBay one time because I saw this bracelet with all these fruit on it. And when I got the bracelet, the fruit pieces were huge. And that's when I first learned about Moon Glow. It was the Napier Moon Glow bracelet. It was so beautiful. It had all the different fruits, the cherry, and I sold it for a good price. But So these are acrylic apple earrings that have that same leaf design. That's what my babbling on is getting to, is that they had these little leaves on them. These are really sweet. I love them. They're in great shape. Green apples. And I'm going to say $10 on those. Love those little leaves. And what are you? We have an earring with a heart on it. Copper, gold, all kinds of different colors. Ooh, this is pretty. This has all kinds of things going on. Hey, I found a gold stone. Okay, now I just learned recently that this is gold stone. Doesn't have any gold in it. It's just called gold stone. It's a man-made stone from what I've learned. And that's neat. It's a gold stone earring. I don't know what's in the back of it except that it's like a brass material. So let's see if we can find the other one. Oh, we're getting to the end of this bag, so that's nice. Then we can go on to the next bag. Woohoo! Here's our second earring that's on the board. Here's our whatever that is. And what else? Oh, we have a pin. We have another necklace. Well, here's a crystal bead I'll put in the jar. Another crystal bead. I'm trying to get some earrings together to um, just show you and maybe price them. This one needs a little cleaning. It's brown glass. Where's our other gold stone? That's what I want to find. 
I found our other teensy weensy little blue one that looks to be sterling. <clears throat> Sorry. I think the kitty cats are getting hungry. <clears throat> oh, that's a shell earring. That's beautiful. Here's our other vintage shiny one. Don't you jump up here, Bilty. I don't need your bradage. Here's our other one we're going to test for sterling. So, yeah, we're getting down to things here. This is some fun testing that we'll do. And this is just a little glass bracelet. Very shiny. We'll put that in a craft jar. I really wanted to find that other goldstone earring because I'm so excited that I found something goldstone. It's fun to learn about things and to remember all these different names. It does take a long time. Okay, another crystal going in the jar. All right, I guess we'll just push this stuff aside because I didn't see the other goldstone yet. We've got this little tiny pair of glass earrings, brown glass. Very cute, like a little shell on the front. Um, we'll do those for $3. And what should we do with this beautiful chandelier? I showed this on the last video as a close-up. It's quite gorgeous. Here, let me get the other one, and I'll show them two together. I'll show you the back and the front. How's that? That works. So, look at these rhinestones. Are they stunning? They are... They're like a dark-colored rhinestone inside of, like, a gunmetal metal. And they have a nice weight to them. Very nice... I would say $10 on those are quite beautiful. What have we here? We have a brooch that's also like a gunmetal color. Lots of sparklies there. I might have to hijack this for my vintage items. It does look at, like it might have a name, but it's hard to tell when it has all that crinkly on the back. Yeah, it's really tough to tell. So I think I will just put this one aside. Gee, my lights are really competing with one another. And we've got this other beautiful crystally bracelet. Now the other one broke, so maybe this one is getting ready to break. Oh, it is so gorgeous, though. And I think I did put quite a few in there. So maybe I should save this for the next jar. Hmm, don't know. Okay, let's wait and see on that. But here's a little pearly pearl I can put in there. All right, let's finish up this bag so we can get to the next one. I always can't wait to get to the next one. Looks like we have a bobbly bobble. But I can see a little piece here. Or there's one missing. So, hmm. Don't know. Would someone still want that with the one missing? I would think it would probably be a little uncomfortable if that piece were to kind of stick into you. So, and I'm trying to very discreetly take off some fuzzes and not make a big deal of it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's purples and blacks and silver. Oh, it's just lovely. Not sure if... I hear you, Bolty. If that one place where there's one missing would be uncomfortable to someone. So you could take that off and you could have a terrific necklace. It comes off right there. You just open that piece up. So I'm going to say it's still a great necklace. Looks like it even has the price tag. It's on a gunmetal color metal Rolo chain, and I will measure it. 
it's just very beautiful and I think it's still worth definitely worth owning or wearing it measures 16 and then it has a two inch extension so we are going to hang in there with this one because it is beautiful you can just take that one piece off deep purples black lots of yummy stuff going on and I would say six dollars on that okay what are you that's beautiful is that glass or acrylic wow that is so pretty I, w I can't imagine that that would all be glass but it feels so cold let's see it goes up a teeny bit it's probably acrylic, but that's a beautiful pen. Looks like it's spinning, doesn't it? It's in a silver tone uh, background. Let me just make sure that that's not cracked. It looks like it might be cracked, guys. Oh, that's a bummer. Look at that. See that little crack in it? Oh, poor cunning baby. You're so pretty. It's acrylic, so it's not like it's going to be glass, but still. Oh, I don't even know if I should put it in the craft jar. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this. If someone's in love with it or they want to do something with it, just send me an email and I will. I'll put $4 on this and you can decide what you want to do with that. I know, Bolty, you gotta give me a minute. I gotta finish my video. This feels like real stone. It's so many colors to it, though. I don't know what kind it would be. It's going in the jade. It could be an amethyst type stone. It is purple. Not sure. I guess I'm gonna have to count on you guys that know more about gems than I do. I've come a long way, but it has purples and reds in it. Beautiful pendant. And it does test as stone. There's the back. Silver tone. Let me see if that's a mark or just a little blip on there. I think it's a little blip. So, I don't know, maybe there's something that goes with this pendant, or maybe not. I think I'll just say $8 on the beautiful stone pendant. Gorgeous. And what are you? Wow. Oops, time to clean up. Ooh, look at this. Look at this necklace. Isn't that yummy? Are those shells on there? I think these might be little shells. I can't be really sure. They do feel a little bit cold, but that's really pretty. It has gold tone and black chains. That's what gives it that sweet look, is the different color chains that are on it. See that? Gold and black. And I hope my kitty is not driving you guys crazy. It has a lobster clasp, quite long. The extension shows a little wear, but the necklace itself is pretty nice. Okay, better go feed my cats. Let me get a measure on this quickly. It's a long necklace. It measures 18 inches where it drops, but then it has another two, three, four inches extension, so it goes to 20. 18 to 20. Nice. I like it. I would say $8 on this fringy fringe. Oh my goodness. I just don't even... Hey, somebody just messaged me on eBay. What? That is so 
cool. Okay, it's like changing colors as I turn it. It must be that there's a color on the bottom of that piece of glass. And as the light hits it, yeah, I can see it right there. See the green? And then when you turn it, that color just sort of explodes. That is gorgeous. What a beautiful bracelet. This is one of the things I saw in the picture when I was looking at the pictures of whether I should buy it or not. But wow. So it's a stretch, as you can see, in great shape. Wow, that's an attention getter. Very, very nice. I've never seen that before. It's on a silver tone. So I'm going to say 15 on this just because it's pretty wild. And we'll see what you guys do. If you like it, you'll let me know. Gave the kitty some food so we can finish this bag. And he can be happy. All right, so this looks like crystally beaded thing, but it's seen better days. So that goes in the pile. This looks like an Alex and Ani bracelet that's probably sterling. We could test that. And this is a cutie. It's got a cross, heart, some fishies. Let's see the stretch. Not so great, huh? It's not terrible, but I just hate for someone to put something on and it goes flying. I think these colors all mean something, but I'm not sure. It's been a while since the kids and I looked into that. I think I'm going to put this in the craft jar because it's got some beautiful gold beads and many different colors. Lots of things to work with there. So into our joy jar it goes. And here's our, oh my gosh, how can I not think of it? <laughs> I can't think of the name of this right now. Oh, don't you hate it when that happens? I'm so embarrassed. I have to put this to the side because I can't think of what it's called. It just totally left my brain. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go to these beautiful clip-ons. They're gorgeous Aurora Borealis finish on them. They are kind of oldies, but aren't those lovely? Woohoo! I wonder how they like, how the women went all day with these stuck on their ears. Don't you think they would have had to take them off for a little bit? Anyway, sorry, but that goes into my vintage pile. Cameo. I knew if I put it to the side, I would think about, I would think what it was. It's a cameo. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Like, if I can edit, I would edit this out, but I'm not going to because it's too funny. I think you guys can relate when you just can't think of something. So we have a cameo brooch and looks like it could be a necklace pendant as well. It's pretty, and I do see a name on it, which is always nice, and it's Sarah Coventry, good old Sarah Coventry. So I have some really nice vintage gold tone chains. I'm going to put that on one of those chains. Ooh, what are you? Some more beautiful, all different color beads. Looks like rose quartz and you know, they could be dyed a little bit. They do enhance beads with different dyes, which is okay. It makes them beautiful. But I'm not sure. This looks like Jasper, the red one. So maybe they're all different types of Jasper. Let's have a look. Which I think Jasper would come up as quartz. Tourmaline, Amethyst Quartz. Let's test the Jasper one. Yeah, it's right in the kind of the quartz area. No, not sure on where the Jasper would test, but 
smack dab in the middle of garnet tourmaline. So maybe Jasper tests highlight. I mean, garnet. Don't know, but I know that it's some Jasper and different green stones on there. I think you adjust it here. And I'm going to say $8 on the lovely stone bracelet. This has been a nice bag. It's been a good variety of different pieces. Oh, we have another beautiful bracelet that doesn't stretch. I'm going to have some good stuff to put in my craft jars. So I'll put that aside because we already put some in the craft jar. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. So I got something with these kind of beads a long time ago and I was brand new at jewelry and I didn't know what they were. I asked my jewelry group and we did some deducing on our clues and their shell. They're actual shell beads that are rounded. Aren't they gorgeous? This is stunning. Look at how it has the three tiers to it. Wow, this is really something. And the striking teal color beads here don't know what they're made out of. Silver tone. And here's another shell bead. And then look at that piece of shell. And these are all shell too. Well, maybe these are glass. It's hard to tell. I'd have to look close with the loop. These smaller ones could be milk glass. Not seeing any variation in them. Wow, it's gorgeous. Has a silver tone toggle. And I hope I'm giving you a good close-up of it. The beads are so beautiful. Just very beautiful. I could look at those all day, especially when the like the abalone part of it catches the light and gives all those colors. Wow, I think we should probably test the clasp. Well, let me do the magnet first. It's not magneting. It's older because the string that wraps around inside, right there, you can tell it has some age. I mean, it's in great condition structurally, but that's one of the things I look at to see if it has some age to it. So I'm not seeing any mark for sterling, so we'll have to test this one. And that's okay, because we're about to test some earrings, too. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we've got a couple of little pearly bracelets. Those are cute. This one's getting worn off. This one, I don't know. I think I'll just maybe save this one for the next craft jar. Probably could have made two craft jars in this video with the stuff that I gather all week for you guys and then the other things in the bag. So, wow, this is all glass. It's got a beautiful pendant. It's like, um, like a purpley, it's a garnet color. That's exactly the color. It's the color of a garnet. Slight purplish, but red. It's all glass as far as I know. We could always make sure whether they're stones, but I would venture to say, yeah, it's glass. That's a beautiful piece. It's on the memory wire. There's some gold paint swirls around the beads. It's a good weight to it. I'm not going to bother measuring because it's adjustable. Wow, it's just so gorgeous. I wonder if that's sterling right there. There would be no way to test it. No way I would attempt to do that. So, hmm. I guess I could test this end of it. I'm not going to worry about that. If it's sterling, great. It's not that big a deal. I would say for this beauty, we'll do 15. It's all, all glass. Gorgeous. 
Okay, a statement necklace. This is some pretty colors. Pinks and purples and blues. That's different. Okay, we're gonna get you, yeah. So, where's my wipey thingy? This bag, this, this box came with, if you saw the first video, it came with some cardboard that was all shredded. And I'm not sure that's the best choice for them to pack things with because it kind of got everything dusty. Anyway, this is so beautiful. It has like a wine color. This is a deep purple. It's not coming up such on my phone, but I'll try to get it that way for you. So this is a deep purple, pink, and back into the wine colors, and back into the purples. It's on a gold tone Rolo chain with the lobster clasp. And look at the condition it's in. Excellent, really excellent. No name, no maker on it. But it's pretty. If you need those colors, those specific colors, then this is a hit for sure. All right, fiddly fiddle. Let's get a measurement. Because if you love it, if you need those colors, if you got something exactly this co these colors, you're going to want this. I would say it's a 20-inch necklace with a little bit of give with the with the extension. So that's that. And we'll say $6 on that. I love it when the chain is in great condition. Yikes. Sorry about that. I'll just put that on something that made noises. Okay, this is a cutie. Looks like a little acrylic earring. I think I saw one before. Hard to tell sometimes by the time you get to this part of the video. I mean, to this part of the bag. It's like so much jewelry is going around my head. Okay, I found some more awesome crystallies. And a really beautiful shell necklace. Wow, we had one in the last box of jewelry, and you guys really emailed me about that. It was so beautiful. And this one is just as beautiful. Really pretty. And I also shared in the last video that I found out that abalone is no longer being used for jewelry or for anything, so these are going to become much rarer. And I had said, no wonder my abalone things sell so quick on eBay. Okay, the chain or the extension leaves a little to be desired. It's got some wear on it. But the cord that it's on is fresh and clean like it's never been used. So I think it's just that it got older and maybe sat or something. I don't know. But someone could put a different chain on it. Maybe use that shell. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to say $8 on the big giant abalone shell. Okay, Alex and Ani, we're going to test that. Wow, what are you? Look at this bracelet. This is huge. That is, what do they call that, Rivoli? And it looks like the stones are upside down. Look at the clasp on it. Wow, it's got the box clasp or fold over. That's quite the bracelet. Wowsy, wowsy. I'm trying to think of those earrings to match. I think the earrings are more of a gold tone that looks something like this. Wow, that's a pretty one. Okay, I'll fold this over and we'll see what it measures. 
Someone's gonna love that. It's seven and a quarter on this huge rhinestone bracelet in silver tone. And by the way, the stones are a silvery clear and then these are a smoky gray, just in case you can't really see them on the camera. So did I price this? I'm gonna say $12 on this. Let's make sure the clasp works. Yep, for sure. $12 on that bracelet. A couple more pieces, we're done. With bag number one, anyway. We have a red statement necklace, and it has a name. Looks like White House Black Market. Yep, it is. Nice jewelry. Super nice. It is red acrylic. And look how they finish it off with that little crystal. So cute. It's on a variated Rolo or oval chain. Looks never worn at all. If you need a red necklace and you like the circles, then you might love this one. White House Black Market. It's... 17 inches with the extension, probably 16 without, and that's the back, great condition. I'd say $12 on the White House Black Market. It's got nice weight to it, and it's going to hang nice because it's a good quality product. What is this? This is very, very interesting. Looks almost like a carved bone. Or maybe it's supposed to look like that. It's on a gold tone pin. That's very pretty. Really pretty. That would add like a little pop when you're wearing that type of beachy look, you know? That's cute. I'm going to say $6 on the pin. And I don't know if it's bone. I think it's acrylic or a resin made to look like bone. So that's what I think anyway. Okay, we've got our other little earring there. This little heart thing. Oh, my other Irwin pearl that's in good shape, but the first one isn't. And here's our other goldstone earring. Yay! So I don't know what Goldstone goes for at all. And just to get back to what these are, they have like three different layers to them. A black layer on the back, this sort of textured gold tone, and then this Goldstone here with the little black bead. And the ear wires are very my lights are freaking out. The gold on them are in very excellent condition, so that's really cool. Those are beautiful. I'm going to say 12 on those. Here's our second earring to the one on our board. Really pretty. They've got the yellow stones, the black ones, and the clear. I think, did we find the first one in the first video? I think so. These are nice weight to them, silver tone. Um, yeah, I'm going to say $8 on these. If you guys don't love them for 8 I can always use them for my vintage stuff. This is a pretty, pretty bracelet. I've been looking at that. And we've got some kind of little something studs i don't know maybe they're supposed to look like druzies maybe i'll just put those in the craft jar they look new the backs are new yeah let's put them in the craft jar little druzy looking earrings and what else this little acrylic brown one All right let's go to the heart ones so heart earrings, 
they are acrylic gold tone wires are in good condition those are cute they'll have like a marbled effect on the bottom and I'd say four dollars on those we have another cat eye effect glass on a silver chain looks like it has a nice silver plating but it does have a little bit of wear but that's a pretty pendant I think I might just craft it because the chain isn't super great but the pendants pretty so let's put it in our joy jar it needs some green in there anyway look at all those colors super fun all right, so what do we have here, and what is this? Why do we have this bright green stone? I'm not sure. That's everything in the bag. Oh, no, there's one more going in the craft jar. What did that green thing come out of? I wonder. Oh, I remember now. The bracelet. So it must have come off of this. All right, I'm gonna do a little craft lot with those, like a bagged up craft lot, and I'll sneak back on with that. But let's see if this has any stretch. Yes, it does. What beautiful colors. Turquoise and a little bit purplish. That's a beautiful bracelet. It's a stretch bracelet, as you can see. And got a little bit of reds in it it's in good shape I'm gonna say six dollars on that these little guys um, we talked about these that have the copper and the gold tone and all the different textures so I found the second one to those and I'll say four dollars on those We've got these shell earrings, nice long shell earrings. That shell there, shell there, and the bottom piece is probably a, a little piece of acrylic or something. But they are on a little bit darker wire, or it's just has a little patina to it. So we've got long shell earrings for $5. Wow, oh, we've got quite a pile. All right, what are we going to do with this glass pendant? I think we should put it in the craft jar. We didn't come up with any chain to put it on. And let's see, these little acrylic cutie cuties. We'll put those in there. We didn't really find anything to go with this, so that can go. Oh, am I going to have to put my Irwin pearls in there? I could probably sell one of them. I mean, one earring does pretty good on eBay, but especially if someone's looking for the other one. But I don't know. I have so much to do. I don't think I could do that. So maybe the person getting the craft jar sells on eBay. Who knows? And they can sell the one Irwin pearl. They're pretty good earrings. Okay, we're going to test the metal, but I do want to just top off this craft jar and weigh it, and then we'll be done with this part of the bag. So let me bring out some more of my goodies that I save up for you guys. This is one of those cat eye bead bracelets, uh, beads. It's in blue. Look at that pretty. But the stretch isn't that great, so there's a bunch of beads there. And what else? What other color could we add to this? Oh, this is a good one. Okay. No, not that one. I want to save that one for a reason. For a reason, a secret reason, I'll tell you another time, okay? My little secret. So this is a green, like a forest green beaded bracelet. We'll just put that there at the top. 
Okay, down to business here. Where's my scale? Because we're going to weigh the joy jar. And we'll wait for that. Okay, here we go. The joy jar weighs 12.18 ounces. Yay! I wish I had one of those buttons that went like, yay! I like the cheering. I feel like it's like cheer time. Okay, I haven't said it in a long time because I've been so into this bag of jewelry. But please don't forget to subscribe and like and and leave me some comments. Did you know that when you leave a comment, it tells YouTube that you like the channel? That there's some action happening over here. Over here, you know. And it does help the channel. So if you'd like to support me and subscribing to my channel, also leave a comment because I think it makes YouTube kind of scoot the video up a little bit and say, hey, look at me. Also, I want to let you know to please email me if you'd like to purchase anything at Cape Cod eBay girl at gmail.com and send me the name of the video and any episode number if there is one. Also, the timestamp of when your pieces are showing up that you like, the a brief description of the pieces you like, and the prices, yeah, the prices given. And if you send me that information, I will be able to find your things pretty fast. If I don't have that information, we're going to have to email back and forth a little bit, and it would take longer. So just, uh, yeah, do that for me if you can. Oh, and we're also going to test this. Okay, we'll get our testing done, and then that's it. There's only one of these little guys. Makes me think Kendra Scott, kind of. Maybe I'll throw that in the craft jar because it's not. Yeah, there's still a little bit of room in it. Oops. Yeah, and that one. Super. I'm going to hold on to these for my vintage things that I do on eBay. Wow, look at the back on that one. It's huge. I'll have to look at that. And not sure what to do with these. They're kind of a funky color. Clip-ons. Anyway, I'm going to put these in my vintage stuff. And yeah, we'll just do that. So let's get the test stone out. I do have a much bigger one. I should get that one. And let's see what this stuff tests as. So we have these glass earrings that look very sterling to me. They're so cool. Is that cracked? Oh no, please. does look like a bit of a crack in it. Oh man, what do I do now? Oh well. I think I'll still test them just because I'm dying to know. And we already looked at these and they're fine. So we'll test one of these. We don't have to do both. And I'm going to test our Alex and Ani because a lot of the Alex and Ani bracelets are sterling. And I didn't know that until someone mentioned it. And we're going to test our clasp on this shell necklace. So let's do this earring first. Very carefully. I tend to think they're sterling when they have that wide part there. But again, it's hard to look at every little detail right now when I'm making a video. So... Let's see, where can I do this? Here. They're so tiny. So we'll get, we'll test this one, and we'll test the next one. Let me have a look at it and see if I see any copper underneath. And I don't. So maybe I'm right about that. I would tend to assume this would be the same. The, it's glass. They're very, very much alike. But we'll do it anyway, just for fun. And again, you can kind of tell sometimes when you're doing the testing if it's 
hesitating a lot and it's not. So I think for this Alex and Ani, I'll just test the, the little charm and see what we get with that. And I'll look at it again. I don't see any copper underneath. So we've got earring, earring, bracelet. And we'll test this. My son's in the room making some kind of sounds. Oh yeah, I can tell already by the way that's that's acting that it's not going to be sterling. So I don't want to bother the piece of jewelry. It may be sterling plated, but I'm not going to bother that piece. So we've got these three. So I'll bring you in close and we will put our 18 carat on and see what we got. Oops, got to pop the bubble. I try to not use too much, but oh yeah, it's definitely sterling. Can you see the blue? It's very, very blue. So that's nice. And I think my eye for sterling is getting better every day. Yep, and I'm so surprised at the Alex and Ani bracelets that I was just kind of chucking those off, um, not knowing that they were sterling. All right, let's talk about what we've got now. We have a pair of glass earrings and a sterling silver. I don't know if they're artisan, what they are, but they are so cool. And I think that's the back side. Sterling silver that we tested. And I'm going to say $12 on these. They're really just neat, neat, neat earrings. I wish the others weren't broken. So we have the other pair that is a, sort of a two-tier. And I'm sure these other parts are sterling as well. Whoops, it got caught up a little bit. And one of them, sorry, has that little bit of crack in it. So... I think I'm still going to offer them to you guys and you can decide what you want to do. Maybe you can use them for something. But certainly the sterling findings are worth something. Maybe you could take the top one out and just wear the bottom parts. I'll leave that up to you guys. But for sterling silver here and here and the glass, I'm going to offer these for $8. And you can fix them up how you'd like to. It's too bad that one was broken. Oh, and the sterling Alex and Ani with the filigree beads. This has some blue, sort of a midnight blue stones on it. And it says Alex and Ani. And then the other side has the flag and the energy um, charms. And of course they're adjustable. And we'll do $6 on the sterling bracelet. Now, what about this? This shell, gorgeous three-tier shell necklace. So beautiful with the teal color beads. Quite long and the, the uh, probably milk glass up at the top. I'm definitely going to put this in my thumbnail for sure. So beautiful. What should I say on this necklace? Um, it's got to be fiddled with a little. Let me make sure it can be. Yeah, you got to take this through here. And I got to make sure it's okay for you guys before I sell it to you. So hang in there with me. Oh yeah, there we go. This is definitely going to be on my thumbnail. So look for that. And oh my goodness, these shell beads. What do I do? I know what I was going to show you. This is the bracelet that I was talking about earlier that I couldn't figure out what the beads were. And we figured out that they're shell. So I'm going to add the bracelet to it. The stretch is a teeny bit questionable, but 
and the colors aren't a match, but it's a shell beaded bracelet. And I just want it to remain with the shell beaded one. You can do what you'd like with it, but I'd like to keep it together. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to say 25 on the shell necklace. And as usual, you guys are going to let me know right away if you want it or not. So beautiful. So beautiful. And then I'm going to show you that craft bag. Okay, so here's my thought on this. I thought I would make this craft bag and see what you guys think of this. So, excuse the noise for a minute, but I'm going to put in our vintage pearly necklace that didn't have the other end of the clasp and this bracelet that had the other green piece here. And I'm going to throw the tassels in there. You never know. And I'm also going to put this bracelet in. A little bit tough on the stretch. And remember these other little pearly ones with the rhinestones? And something I didn't show was this Howlite necklace. I didn't realize I didn't show that. But I'm so tired, I have to end the video. Um, okay, I guess the Howlite silver tone necklace can go in the craft and you can enjoy that. Also, there's this turquoise seed bead necklace. It's quite beautiful, nothing wrong with it either, but we'll put that in. And look at all these shells. Aren't they gorgeous? And there's some wooden beads and these beautiful red beads. Again, nothing wrong with this. Just getting to the end of the line and I can't have so, so many things for sale because it's too much. A lot to keep track of. And look at these seed beads. Yellow and blue and so many beautiful colors. So we'll do that in the craft bag. We've got this whole necklace full of crystals and wooden beads. Beautiful gold clasp on it. Not a thing wrong with it. And also this wooden beaded necklace. This looks a bit older than the other one. I'll put that in. Well, maybe I shouldn't put... Yeah, I'm not going to put that in. I see a little bit of verdigris. Don't want that. Uh, wooden beaded bracelet. Some silver beads. A lot of this stuff has nothing wrong with it, but it's just too much to sell it all. This has some little shells and beads on it. Put that in there. Isn't that cute? Look at that bracelet with the toggle. Wooden beads and turquoise color. Another bracelet with lots of black beads. Another bracelet with some yellow color stones. It's got a little bit of a stretch. Not a stretch, but a... I'm not sure. Like a wire. Yeah, a wire. And a pair of nine west earrings the cute little acrylic look to them let's see um we've got this big torque necklace with the red color looking stone looks very southwestern very good condition but in the craft bag this one is very sweet too it's got lots of beads and a little wide drop in the craft bag these beads in there too and then a statement necklace that just has a little bit too much crackly to it um, what else? I think that's it so that's everything in this craft bag lots of colors lots of things to do really nothing broken but 
see if there's maybe I should put this one there no I'll wait I'll save that for our next craft jar so okay this craft bag we will do for ten dollars the whole thing we'll do for ten okay so that helps me it helps you and that's it I'm gonna go clean up all this stuff and bag everything up and call it the name that I'll call this video. No, first I have to make my thumbnail. I'm going to go make my thumbnail. And I will see you guys back next time. So make sure you subscribe and you hit the, the bell so that you're notified when I make my next video. Because I'm going to open bag number two of this 37 pounder. And you don't want to miss it. So thank you so much. I'm so glad you were here. And you know what I always say. We'll see you next time. When it's clear. The picture's clear. Now I'll say it. We'll see you next time. At the Bobbles. Bye.